Uh, Sabrina, take... Who cares? Go. Hi, my name is Sabrina, and we're going to count cells with he the hematometer today. To begin counting, you need a set of hematometer and a 10 microliter pipette, and you need your um, cell sample. Your cell sample should consist of 760 microliters of the medium, 140 microliters of the tripan blue, and 100 microliters of your cell sample. So to begin, um, in order to count the cells accurately, you have to clean the human centimeter first. So you take the Kim wipe and you use a little bit of the 75% ethanol. You wipe it down and you also clean the slide. Make sure that the ethanol dries up before you begin um, injecting your sample into the human cytometer. Okay, so you start by placing the slide onto the human cytometer, and if you look at the human cytometer set, there are two grooves on both, both sides. You take your sample, you have to pipette up and down a couple times. You take 10 microliters from the sample and you inject it onto one side. Each side of the hemocytometer holds 10 microliters. You inject it slowly. Make sure you don't inject it too fast. And you switch to your other side. Again, pipe it up and down a couple times, and then you inject again, slowly. Then you place the chemocytometer onto the microscope, and you count the cells. If you will recall, our cell sample dilutions contain 760 microliters of the medium, 140 microliters of the tripan blue, and tripan blue is used to detect dead cells in your culture. And how tripan blue works is that when cells are dead, the membrane becomes leaky. And once the dye leaks into the cell, then the cell becomes blue. Then you would know that you have dead cells. And the sample also contains 100 microliters of the sample cells. So when you look into the hemocytometer, this is the grid that you would see. You have four different quadrants, and you would have two sets, so a total of eight quadrants. When you count cells, you only count the ones that are located in the quadrants. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. But you would not count the dead blue ones. And you also have to get, obtain the total number from all eight quadrants. That's a good question, Loom Vision. So here is how we do the calculations. X is equal to the total number of cells counted, and N is equal to the average number of cells per quadrant. So X cells divided by eight quadrants will get you N, which is the average of the number of cells in each quadrant. Then you take that number, you multiply it by 10, and then you multiply it by 10,000. 10, and that would equal to the number of cells total per the number of mils that you diluted and resuspended your cells in. Then the number of cells total would be divided by the number of mils that you used to resuspend the cells and times by the number of mils that you used to resuspend the cells. That would get you the total number of cells you have in your sample. Then to determine how many microliters you would need to put in each dish, you would take the number of cells needed divided by total number of cells times a thousand, and that will give you the final number of microliters needed per dish. Okay, now that we're finished counting cells, we're going to clean up, and I'm going to show you how to clean up the human cytometer. So you take it off the stage of the microscope, and you lift the slide, and again, you use 75% ethanol, you spray the slide, and you also rinse the hemocytometer. Once you've done that, take the Kim wipe, 
and dab it dry. Do not scratch the hemocytometer too hard or else you'll leave the marks. And it'll be harder to count next time. And you put it back into the box. Again, make sure the slide is dry and clean for the next person who's going to be using it. And we're done.